All right, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 19, and I'm going to read verse 2, and it says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fate everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel, Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your call and election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, Shalom. Again, it's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another lesson, and Lord willing to be edifying unto you, okay, on this Saturday, all right? And uh, it's kind of crazy because, you know, I'm doing this lesson, but I, I had did my highways, which this will probably be uploaded before my highways. However, because my highways, I got to edit it. You know, usually uh, the way I do it is when I do my various topics, current events, I add uh, certain video clips to it, certain articles. You know, I post them in the video so that you can see, you know, that's just for those that are uh, new and tuning in. And they might say, well, what article is that or wh where did you get that at? You know, instead of having to ask the question, voila, it's going to be right there before your face. OK, you know, and a lot of times I might even name the article like where it's coming from. So I just try to do those things just to, uh, so that you won't even have to uh, even ask those certain questions. All right. But um, anyways, hey, this is uh, like, I guess what you would call live local late breaking news. OK, this is that's a slogan they say around here, <laughs> live local and late breaking. But, um, you know, we just had um, this right here. Uh, I don't know if some of you have heard or tuned in, but um, there was an assassination attempt on, um, you know, former President uh, Donald Trump. OK. You know, now some brothers and things are saying that it looked like it might be staged. Uh, be honest with you, I believe it. I believe it is. However, hey, um, you know, don't be ignorant of uh, small or great matters. You know, a great or a small matter. You know, all these things. Uh, at the end of the day, whether it's staged or not, it's all prophecy. It's all laid out. Hell, everything that's happening before our, our eyes is staged by the heavenly Father, because this is His movie. It's all laid out. So it's what staged. Okay. But yeah, you know, uh, it is what it is. You know, this thing uh, happened and we're going to go into it because uh, at the end of the day, there's tensions flaring. It looked like, you know, uh, he could very well win. You know what I'm saying? I don't me personally. I don't care who wins, who gets in there as long as uh, everything goes the way it, uh, it, it goes, you know, according to the heavenly fight, which we know it's going to. OK, so uh, honestly, it don't matter who gets in there, but we bring these things out to show you that. Uh, there's the, the tension between the two parties and everything at the end of the day it's all bible prophecy okay so it says assassination attempt all right florida reacts to shooting at donald trump's rally it says the secret service said in a statement that trump was safe all right and you can see by the picture there you know he's got some blood on the side of his face and his ear and everything there was another photo with him throwing a fist up which i i'm gonna uh probably have that as my thumbnail but uh he was yelling out fight 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 i was just talking to my uh my landlord who was a big trump supporter man he said he was almost in tears about it you know so i don't know you know uh you know of course you know they uh edomites and stuff you know you don't care but i just made a little small talk with him before getting started on this lesson uh, like you know you heard about it which i knew he i'm pretty sure he did and then he was that's when he started saying yeah and he said he almost was into tears about it you know, so it's kind of crazy. But anyways, we're going to get into this. It says after President Donald Trump was bloody by gunfire, escorted off stage by Secret Service following a reported shooting at his Pennsylvania rally Saturday. OK, the Florida political world took to social media to offer their well wishes and condemn what looked uh, to be political violence. All right. And uh, even um, what's his name? Just just now uh, Biden had made a statement uh, talking about he uh plans to i guess contact uh trump and everything and make sure everything's okay and, and he was condemning what happened but you know all that like man they they he <laughs> they these people funny man you know they're gonna say that for the cameras and all that because you know he got an image and stuff but honestly uh man he can care less you know what i'm saying when well, you know the the true intent of these edomites okay it says the associated press reported that the incident was being investigated as an assassination attempt all right. It says details around the incident were not immediately forthcoming. A spokesperson 
for the Secret Service said in a statement that Trump was safe and it was released more information when it became available. Trump campaign released a similar statement thanking first responders and law enforcement. All right. And I heard some other things and I'm just speaking, you know, as a man, I don't know uh, 100 percent sure if it's true or not. But I was just talking to a brother before diving into this lesson and he was telling me uh, on uh, IG that, uh, you know, the guy that that the shooter uh, uh, was apprehended and he was actually uh, put down, I guess, put to death or whatever. I don't know if maybe he shot back or whatever, but uh, they said that um, he was telling me that, that the, the dude is a so-called Hispanic. OK, so, you know, that's that's very kind of, you know, it's like one of them things like, all right. That's going to put some some tension with these Edomites and then with the people coming in from the borders and stuff. Because uh, one of the things that Trump said was when he get in, he was going to be doing a lot of deportation. OK, that was one of the things that was said. All right. And I think that uh, honestly, I believe he's going to win and he's going to get in there. And I think he's going to be the one to implement that uh, uh, the MOTB, man, because. Uh, one of the things I heard in a video a while back, and, and it makes a lot of sense, it says with uh, how, the way B Biden has been bringing a lot of um, people in through the border, not just, you know, uh, Issachar, but, you know, some of the other tribes and then this foreigners at coming in. You know, they said there were Moabites, uh, Hamites, everything just coming in through that border. All right. So all kind of people coming in. But what's, what's going to happen is you're going to say there's all these illegals and people over here and people just coming in through the border. So they're going to start tagging people. And I think that's going to be a way they can do it. Uh, implement that MOTB by that to see who is who. Because, you know, things are going to, the economic, the stuff's going to crash. There's going to be a famine of the world. A lot of stuff's going to happen. So that could be a way that they can implement it. And I think Trump might be the one they're going to use to do it. Okay. But uh, so it makes, it makes some sense. And like I said, I ain't going to be long on this. I just want to bring out a few precepts. And, and and get this up because you know hey man this is heavy this is one of them things that just couldn't wait you know i was like you know i didn't want to wait till the next day or or you know because i i gotta put a lot of work into getting that uh highways together and upload it you know i always try to be right and, and on point with it okay and, and make sure i get all my uh articles and videos in place for it you know because it's all about edifying our people okay but this is Luke 12 and 51. It says, suppose ye that I have come to give peace on earth. I tell ye nay, but rather the vision. This is Yahweh Shai. See the red letters? That's Yahweh Shai speaking. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay? Yahweh Shai is coming with the vision. All right? This is why I started off with that scripture in Isaiah. The Egyptian against the Egyptian. Because this place is spiritual Egypt. So when you, uh, you could apply that scripture to now, these people are the spiritual Egyptians. And it's, they're a, a clash. Uh, uh, amongst them, them all right but Yahweh Shai is uh, at, at the end of the day is bringing this division by way of his father Yahweh okay who is at war with these people so he is putting and plus he is a man of war according to the scriptures the book of Exodus all right but he's bringing this division okay he ain't bringing peace division all right so that's what you're gonna see all right this is the book of Mark, chapter 3, and I'm going to start at verse 23, and I'll just do it like this. All right. And he said, and he called he called them un, unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? Okay. And it says, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. OK, so these people are the border of wickedness. They are Satan. They are the synagogue of Satan. So if there's a tension uh, 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 amongst them, uh, you know, this kingdom against this kingdom, but they're all Edomite, different Edomite empires and they were clashing with each other or uh, they're both over here in the Americas and it's this party and that party, but they clashing. Hey, man, they're going to fall. Just like us, uh, us Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans, we were divided. And what happened? We fell as a people, okay? But now the Heavenly Father, what he has is a remnant set aside. And that remnant, as long as that remnant come together, we're going to be good. Now the two-thirds of our people, they're going to be destroyed. That's uh, according to the book of Zechariah, okay? But uh, that, that remnant, that elect, all right, they're coming back together, all right? In unity, all right? In truth, all right? But uh, this people here, man, hey, they're, they're going to fall, man, all right? 
This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, and I'm gonna read this in the Gen Jenny or G N T Salakia. Gen G N T. I'm trying to say Gen. <laughs> G N T. Alright. Salakia. Alright. And we'll start at verse 14. And it says, The world and the people in it are doomed. Alright. The war that will bring their destruction is very near. Nations will arm themselves and fight against uh, other nations. There will be great political turmoil with one group trying to overpower, overpower another and gain control while ignoring the legitimate government. See that? <laughs> That's what you're seeing. There will no longer be free access to cities because the struggle for power will bring destruction, terror, and total confusion wherever people live. Driven by famine and terrible suffering, people will assault their neighbors and mercilessly uh whatever that word is plunder their possessions okay see that it's <laughs> it's gonna get crazy man but the point was there in um verse uh 16 it says there will be great or there will be great political turmoil with one group trying to overpower another and gain control while ignoring the legitimate government see that and that's the times that we are in all right this is uh, Matthew 12 and 25, and I'm going to read this in the NLT, and it says, Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and replied, any kingdom divided by civil war is doomed. Just like hey, that other, the scriptures I just read talking about, it, they're doomed. See, here it is again, okay? It's doomed. A town or family splintered by feuding will fall apart. And did Yahweh Shai say what? He's bringing division. That's a war tactic, man. That division, man. It, it, it's it going to cause you to fall And that's why they're trying to do that peace, love, unity and stuff But they can't Because the spirit in these Edomites is war The war is in their hearts Like the scriptures tell you So as much as they want the peace to try to keep things together they The, the spirit that's in them ain't going to allow it And Yahweh Bashem Yosha is not going to allow it Because he's a man of war and he's bringing division Okay So <laughs> like I said hey, It says the people are doomed man Okay, the people are doomed, and why is that? This is Second Ezra six and nine. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world." Okay, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Okay, Esau is the end. So this is how he has to go out. This is part of the Heavenly Father's movie. Okay, it's already been staged and laid out. Okay, but see, you you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans got next. Okay. You are the beginning of the of the world to come, the kingdom to come, okay? That's why you it says make no tarrying to turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. You got to come back to him, you know, before it's too late, okay? Before he begins to close the doors of mercy, man. You want to come back to him, okay? Because this world to come is ours, man. All right. So, like I said, I didn't want to be long. I just wanted to just show y'all that. Uh, 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 article and uh, go into it and just kind of tap into some scriptures and show you how a hey, these things that are happening man is biblical okay we can pretty much uh, everything you see before your very eyes you can tap into the scriptures with it okay and the men of the lord are set up to do it all right and it's our pleasure to do it man it's an honor and pleasure a privilege man to to do this all right all praises to yahweh for allowing us to do it okay so with that lord willing you have found this lesson here edifying i want to give all honor all glory and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem or Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And Shalom to you brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, Shalom.